Okay, can I can I uh, hit y'all with a truth bomb? What's up? Yeah, what's up? I got a little story to tell that mm. I've never had the opportunity to tell on uh -huh. camera before. And you know, you know when you got like a real good story, yeah. or something that you know about, but you have reasons to not take that story and expose it to the public. But then things happen that basically allow you to feel comfortable exposing that story to the yes. public. Yes, what's going on? It's one of those days. Get it anyway. off your chest. So there was this whole thing uh, on the Wack and Adam podcast, the Adam and Wack show, yeah. where we talked about the Crip Mac thing. And I basically okay. complained about the fact that China Mac had asked me to go to a bail hearing the day before. I said that I couldn't do it because I would have had to cancel four interviews, two, two of which had flown into town to do the interview. Yeah. I'd said, and I told China Mac at the time, give me a little bit more time, a little bit more notification. You as his manager should probably not be telling people like literally at 9 p.m. the night before about this sort of thing, right? And so me and Wack have this whole back and forth about it. And then China Mac, because he has absolutely nothing going on in his life, he's just like relentlessly clout chasing about this. He's doing a whole press tour, doing interviews. He's making multiple YouTube videos, trying to pay his rent. The whole thing is super fucking embarrassing because at the end of the day, I'm the person who actually has been paying Crip Mac for all these years. I'm the person who already had sent him money and put money on his books before any of this stupid fucking argument even uh, popped off. China Mac is a person who literally his entire way of earning money up until the moment that, that Crip Mac got locked up was taking a percentage of the money that me and other people would give to Crip Mac. He's literally a leech who was just feeding off of the Crip Mac show. I'm the opposite. I'm somebody who was enriching him and giving him money, who was getting hit up by him constantly to do business, to do content, whatever. Anyway, China Mac likes to put himself out there as if he's this really real person. So let's talk about why China Mac's relationship with Vlad TV went sour. So oh, shit. people will remember that China Mac was essentially a nobody. He was just some guy who was in prison uh, up until the point that he did a Vlad TV interview. And he, he went viral the first time he did it. Vlad brought him back a whole bunch of different times. And so the most recent time, I think it was about a year and a half ago, that China Mac appeared on Vlad TV. Um, I watched a few of the clips and I noticed today when I was uh, searching on YouTube that a lot of them have like six, 700,000 views, right? And the gist of that interview is that he went on there and he told Vlad all about his fight with AD. And I'm sorry to AD because I don't want to throw AD in this. Oh, Me and AD shit. are maybe allegedly on uh, better now terms than I we know. were a few weeks ago, but yeah. unfortunately AD is going to ascend essentially have to catch some strays as a result of this. So fuck. I get done watching some of the interview clips and it's just hilarious to me because he's sitting there stone faced lying to Vlad and Vlad is heaping praise upon him and telling China Mac how he thinks it's so mannish and grown up that China Mac was willing to go and shoot the fade with AD in a parking lot and that the video ne never came out and how much he respected it. I assume that you guys probably know where this is going. I know exactly Obviously, where this, is. this fight was not real. And anyone who was in the No Jumper group chat at the time can confirm. And I, I, nobody's going to go on record and say that that shit was real. Because we all know that it was fake. I text Vlad after the fucking final clip rolls. And yeah. I say to Vlad, I'm like, Vlad, I can't believe you let this motherfucker go up there and lie to you like that. Boom. Vlad calls me. Vlad says, what are you talking about? And he like doesn't want to believe it because Vlad, you know, he does these interviews, he does this content, mm. and he doesn't really feel like people are so sinister that they're gonna go on there and just lie and troll yeah. to his face. And I know for a fact that Vlad doesn't appreciate that shit. So Vlad starts asking me all these questions. I explained to him how the whole thing was a work, and Vlad is fucking pissed. And I didn't find this out until much, much later, but Vlad instantly, as soon as we get off the phone, calls China Mac and confronts him about it because mm. he's fucking pissed off that China Mac went on there and just basically fed a whole story to him. So what I what I actually need the people out there to do is to go and, and watch those interview clips in which China Mac is sitting there just blatantly lying and accepting praise for a fake fight that was a total fucking skit and uh i feel like a lot of those clips are going to be seen in a completely different light at this point but that shit happened and as a result you haven't seen china mac anywhere near the vlad platform ever since right mm -hmm. so i say all that to say that right now 
I am being attacked by someone. And, and it's always this weird asymmetry when you're getting attacked by somebody who knows everything about you because they're a religious watcher of your content versus me where I have almost nothing to say about him because I've never really watched any serious amount of China Mac content. Like all, all I know is the information that I've sort of fallen ass backwards into obtaining. But this is a guy who's out here acting like he's the real, like he's a gangster, like he did all this prison time and he's so tough and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, you faked a fucking fight and you dragged real LA gang members into it and countless people out there have made YouTube content where they basically attempted to uh, you know, comment on this and 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 praise how manly it was for him to to do this sort of thing and to to shoot the fade and not have a video come out of it or whatever i say all that to say this is the thirstiest dude in the history of communication on the internet and it gets worse because literally yesterday do you remember this girl ava this trans girl flacco who was on uh speed stream she yes, was on aiden know. ross etc yeah this is mind-blowing and you guys are all going to get to see this when it comes out of the clip in a couple weeks or a week or whatever I'm sitting there talking to her, and she's talking about something about uh, you know people talking shit or people trolling you online, and I just say, yeah, I've been dealing with it today. I got some fucking idiot just trolling the shit out of me or whatever, and she immediately goes, China Mac, and I'm like, oh, she saw it on my story yeah. earlier today, whatever. She reveals that right before, he, right before China Mac started managing Crip Mac, mm. China Mac was trying to start an all-trans record label. <laughs> this was this is a real thing that she told me. His big plan for how he was going to profit off the culture before the <laughs> the Crip Mac thing, which he ended up resorting to, yeah. was to start a trans record label. TS Records is crazy. I'm just saying, hey, this is the level of desperation that is oozing out of the shiny faced pores of somebody like China Mac. <laughs> it's just fucking sad and it's desperate. And now you have somebody like me who really has actually invested a lot of money into Crip Mac and has done everything possible for him for all these years. Where did China Mac go? As soon as Crip Mac caught this case, China Mac was out of here. He has no reason to be in California. He fled back to the East Coast as soon as Crip Mac caught this case. And now he's out out here virtue signaling and trying to act like he's ever done something for Crip Mac. You have never done anything for Crip Mac aside from stand next to him in some fucking vlogs, which by the way, my boy Remo is the one who thought up the concepts for every single episode of Mac Ventures and he's not involved anymore because once yeah. again, China Mac is a scammer and didn't ever pay him the money that he was supposed to get paid, which was also the story that Ava, the trans girl from the China Mac record label, told me is that part of the reason why her relationship fell out with China Mac was because of the fact that he didn't pay the video director and all these other people that were doing business for this trans woman. So I say all that right. to say... Dude is a scammer, dude is a fake gangster, and dude is virtue signaling off of claiming to have helped Crip Mac when in reality he never did anything for him besides take his 20% and keep it moving. And he wasn't even able to get Crip Mac move it in such a way that he wouldn't end up back in federal prison because, as we all know, he has now caught a case as a result of the yeah. fact that China Mac and other people in his life were not around. And if, keep in mind, too, that China Mac and Crip Mac had a huge falling out like two weeks before he got arrested, which is why China Mac took such offense to it when I put out that clip of Crip Mac talking about them falling out or whatever. The whole thing, the reason why he didn't like that being exposed to the people was because of the fact that that was a real thing, that they actually were beefing. And the only reason why they're back on good terms now is because of the fact that Crip Mac got locked up and Crip Mac needs all the help he could get. Crip Mac was completely ready to leave China Mac in the past. And when you look at a lot of the other people like Lupe, who I'm going to have on the podcast tomorrow so we can talk more about this, none of these people think that China Mac has actually been a good or positive influence in Crip Mac's lifestyle. He's just another leech that came along and tried to get something out of Crip Mac. And now, as impossible as it is to believe, he's on my ass because he's trying to project away the fact that that I'm someone who actually has done things for Crip Mac and helped him and tried to work with him and tried to put him into better situations, not just taking from him like you, China Mac, you fucking villain. So I just wanted to come on here to make that perfectly clear and to expose the fact that China Mac lied about this infamous fight and then went on Vlad TV as well as many other podcasts. And I, I really need help from the community of going back and finding these clips and clipping them because... This is some of the funniest shit that has ever happened. Just the fact that 
he's so addicted to clout that he was willing to make up this bizarre narrative like that. I have a question for the room. Hit That's me. That's a bomb. So, well, and it's yeah. China Mac excluded because I don't know China Mac. When you guys first saw the clip from the Adam and Wack show in the Twitter discourse, I don't know if you guys be on Twitter. I be on Twitter. No, but we so I saw, the Twitter, <laughs> I saw the Twitter discourse, everybody going up on Adam. Were you guys even surprised by... The, the clip, like, no. I, my whole retort was, why are you guys surprised? Like, if something was to happen to me legally, and I'm getting to my question, mm -hmm. if something was to happen to me, I don't think that on short notice, I, I'm not looking on mm -hmm. short notice for Adam to show up to my court or right. bail hearing on short no notice. Not are you guys notice. looking to Adam to show up to your uh, court or it bail hearing on short notice? Not if we told him last yeah. night. Now, if, if we give a nigga, like, 72 hours, you like, know you what I'm saying? Exactly. You said 24 hours, right? And that's the thing that offended me and pissed me off about yeah. the way that this all played out on social media is that yeah. people are putting it out there as if I had no interest in going there, when in reality... Even before China Mag started talking about me, Lupe had asked me, she's like, yo, so can we actually find a date for his next bail hearing so that you and Wack, Wack, who is somebody that doesn't even fuck with Crip Mac, that has basically stated that they need to get down at times in recent memory, we both made it clear that we would do it. I just told China Mac, I'm not doing it on 24 hours notice because I literally have people who flew in to do interviews with me tomorrow. And I also like how people are acting like this would be some short fucking thing. Like this would take many, many hours and it would fuck up all my other interviews. It's not, never once did I say, hey, I'm not down to show up to court for him. I just said, if you want me to do this, be professional yeah. and let me know with a significant just, amount of time. So again, <laughs> he's putting it on me he's and it's on you. him. What are you saying? No. Remember, like it, he said, like, like you should have sent sent like an employee, pref preferably white. And I was saying, even if Adam would have asked the employees, I wouldn't have done it. Right? Like <laughs> you wouldn't have went to the court uh, hearing if he had asked you. The fuck am I going? Like, 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 <laughs> but you're not. My listen, listen <laughs> if I'm Adam, I wouldn't do it. Right. <laughs> bro, right. bro, I have yeah, a wife and kid. What the fuck do I look like? <laughs> the fuck am I going? Oh, go, 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 you're not required. I agree with that, but I still would have done it, even though. Yo, in that same video where China Mag is calling me out, he acknowledges and admits in that same video, and I do not know why he would acknowledge this in the same video, that if I had gone, it would have gone the exact same way because he's facing very, very serious charges and one character witness, not to mention a porn star with a bunch of tattoos all over his face, showing up at the courtroom and saying, hey, he's a good guy, he does interviews with me every two weeks or whatever, yeah. would not really have moved the needle on how all this shit is going to proceed. Now, that being said, I still would have gone. It's just that China Mag is so unbelievably unprofessional that he hits me up at the very last minute when, logically speaking, he probably knew that I wasn't going to be able to clear my entire schedule for the next day to be able to do it. And then as soon as that happens, what does he do? He runs to YouTube to make videos exposing me because he's a fucking thirsty clout chaser. I would actually like to change his name to Thirsty Mac. I think we need to remove the China Mac from the situation because there are a lot of great Chinese people out here and I don't feel like this bum should be the representative of them. But... I mean, the whole thing is just so ridiculous. I am not taking any of it serious when I see people talking shit about me on Twitter or whatever. I don't give a fuck. But the fact that China Mag is using this as an opportunity to virtue signal against the 22-ster really rubs me the wrong way. And I feel like the fans, you're a little too good to be falling for this bullshit. 100,000 views in, t t in, in a 10 hours. <laughs> Listen, I'll be real. Right. If I'm him, I'm making that video. Too. His <laughs> videos against me are getting so many more views than the vlogs yeah. that he was doing with Crip Mac, which puts it into perspective of like China yeah. Mac talking about me. I actually fully expect him to become a full time Adam 22 <laughs> vlogger reaction channel now yeah. because this is obviously like what's moving the needle for him. So I get it from that perspective. The problem is, is that nobody takes anything you say seriously because you're such a blatant clout chaser. And he's literally willing to do anything, fake anything to get the attention, which he proved when he faked the fight for AD. And by the way, the reason why we all know that, Sus, I don't know if you were in the group chat when that actually happened, but AD hit the group chat and said, hey, China, hey, this is so goofy. China Mac wants me to fake this fight. Two days later, they're actually faking the fight. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And I, I tried to get AD to admit to it after that, but he never wanted to talk about it afterwards. He was hoping that we would all just kind of forget that he had uh, proposed this idea in the chat. And, and it's just... I wait, don't know. Wait, wait. Why? Wow, that's crazy. So if I was actually... Well, okay. The fight never happened. Do you seriously think that AD and China Mike were going to fight over the idea of who had the better food show? Like, why did anyone yeah, fall for true. this in the first place? Wait. Was there actual beef with the food show? Or, or, or was that, that like, like fake too? No, it was all fake. 
Oh, that's, see, Josh food. knows Josh. Can't beef over a food shit. show. That's crazy. Why would they beef over a food show? Number one, it's like the least creative idea ever. Ooh. There's five million other food shows, Ooh. and number two. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's still amazing to me because you know when anything happens, whenever you watch a fight on Twitter, yeah. you're thinking like, damn, is this fake? This seems kind of fake. Is this shit fake? We all have like heightened fake <laughs> sensors, right? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck did nobody pick out the fact that this was fake? Why have I had to carry this shit around for two years knowing that that shit was fake? That's all I'm saying. Listen, listen, right? Because we all assume like the actual beef over like the food shows real again because i just see niggas beef over less right Facts. right over way less right so <laughs> right so again i just see niggas beef over chicken wings right so like we right uh, again that, that now, like, that's, was some not, the, that's some of the beef over I wasn't, yeah, sorry, right? Whoa, fat yeah, flag. listen. Who's beef over the chicken wings? I wasn't racist. There wasn't racist. I said, that's something to be over. Exactly. Not that like you would be over the Especially week. if it's only two flats left. You see, fat need, nigga beef. drums. Fat and, flag on and the listen play, though, nigga. Hey, no, I would like to, you, I'd like to get you guys doing a mukbang. Let, let's do it. Flag on the Can I be there too? Yeah, no. I'm allergic to shellfish. Uh, no. no shellfish. No, no. Yeah, no that shellfish. Cool. That's food for us, right? Like, if you're there, right? <laughs> I know that's right. What the right? Well, that's order right. more. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On that condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Imagine, listen. Imagine three niggas trying to share yeah. a 12 piece. Like, 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 like First like, off, I, criminal, I right? needed it in writing, too. Like, a 12 piece of three niggas is criminal. I need the food in writing, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, I get a certain food writer. Writing is crazy. Flacco, you ever had Popeye's? Okay, yes, every well, okay. I was just, I don't yes, know. Yeah, I, I know yeah, you're yeah. like, yeah. you don't do a lot of the normal things that people do in America or in LA, so I just wasn't sure. True. Listen, to, oh, oh, so like speaking of fat, now Josh has been documenting it. I've lost 38 pounds since October 28th. So I got about six months left at him until I'm fat. I feel like whenever I see you, you name a random amount of weight oh, and no. a random date. No, he has it written on his hand. <laughs> in the last two hand. months, I lost 72 pounds. So now, look I, I want you to get in shape, and I yeah, totally sure. support that beyond all measures. So even yeah. though I can't personally yes. eyeball the fat loss right now, you can't do it yet, I support man. you. Nah, you still big as Adam, hell. you left out Not a yet. very hell integral no. uh, part of your argument. Um, I, I'm big on precedence, so... I would just say, like me personally, I don't expect an employer to show up to a court or bail hearing 24 hours before on short notice. No, no. Even when I worked at FedEx, I didn't expect my supervisor or the owner of FedEx to come down to, if I was, knock on wood to get into any legal trouble, to show up to my court hearing in 24-hour notice. Or at all, <laughs> yeah, but at definitely all. not 24-hour notice. But you failed to mention, like, Lyra Cohen didn't show up to the Young Thug trial. Lyra mm -hmm. Cohen didn't show up to the Irv Gotti trial. Or Jimmy Iovine didn't show up to the Snoop Dogg case back mm -hmm. in the 90s that we were just talking about. Dr. Dre didn't even show up to the Snoop Dogg case. Let's take it off race. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dre, who's also black, didn't show up to Snoop Dogg's trial in the 90s. That's why it was a whole issue before his departure from death row. So people are going to do what they want to do. That's why I said when I saw the clip on Twitter, I wasn't surprised and it didn't upset me because adults are going to do what adults want to do. If you don't mm -hmm. want to go somewhere on a 24-hour notice, that's your prerogative as an adult. Uh, was the clip... Entertaining, sure, right. but I wasn't. It didn't upset me because you're an mm -hmm. adult. If you don't want to go on a 24 hour notice, you can't make it. That's up to you. That's the your question. Is two, in right? my opinion, right? It's like where do I don't Adam, expect him to do that. Yeah, right. It's like it's like where do Adam like draw like the line between a really friendly boss mm -hmm. and the home like 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 hey, right? For example, do I think that Adam and, and, and let's say Calvin mm -hmm. or Bossa were friends? Like. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, right, right. Kelvin, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Do I think right it's that they were so like, long. like, like, like friends? Mm -hmm. Probably not friends, right? But Adam is a friendly boss, right? So, like, do you now have to like treat every employee as your best friend? So, I just want to clarify that for sure, mm -hmm. I wanted to go to this, okay. and as soon as Lupe hit me up with a decent amount of you know Got runway it. to be able to plan it out, I said yes, I definitely want to do it. Okay. It's not some shit where I'm like no. Anybody who works here at No Jumper is just an employee. I don't give a fuck about them. I'm not reaching out for them. I'm not doing anything. Shit, you said you would bail me out if I went to jail. I fucking bailed Brick Baby out the second he got his case. Oh, uh, that's crazy. You know, yeah. like, hey, Josh about, already yeah. told my mom, you feel me? If something happened, you feel me? Call him and they're going to come get me. Oh, damn. Well, so hey, listen. I could attest to that, that they personally said they'll come get me. But I'm but not You know going what it is? Though. It's just like, I'm like the auto demon in these situations. I'm the person who's super easy to blame everything on. No fuck. I don't know why track is calling me right now. It might not be the best time. But uh, I'm, it's super easy to blame stuff on me. 
And then I have somebody like China Mac who has never run a business in his entire life, not to mention has never been successful at anything, has never had anything go his way in life. He pretty much transitioned directly from being a prisoner to being a Vlad character that went on his podcast. He fucked that opportunity up, so he started trying to manage Crip Mac. He started trying to start a trans record label for some reason. And as a result, now he's out here just projecting on me where I have so many things weighing on me, so many different employees that I want to keep working, so many different hosts that I want to keep on the channel, so many different interviews that I'm trying to grind out so that we can actually keep shit going financially and everything. And then I have somebody like China Mac who literally does not know the level of responsibility that it takes to run a lemonade stand. And he's out here making uni uh, YouTube videos projecting on me, China Mac. You cannot talk about this. You have no room to speak on anything because you are no better than the homeless people living in the tents on the side of the fucking road. You have nothing going for you. Your schedule is clear today, tomorrow, and for the rest of time. You have nothing going on. That's why you have time to come up with ideas like starting a transgender record label or managing the 55th Street Baby Loke Infant General, whatever. I'm sorry, I probably just fucked that up, but you you know what I'm saying? Uh, baby, look, infant general. This guy got <laughs> infinite fucking time on his hands. <laughs> and that's why he's able to make three YouTube videos about me in the last 24 hours because he's got nothing fucking going on. Anyway. Yo, baby. We look, have finally found a cult. bigger culture vulture than me. I guess that's part of the point that I want to get across here. Oh, 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 and, oh okay. Well, that, now, okay. Now, that's some now like that's a wild one, right? <laughs> like in the Mount Rushmore of hey. culture vultures. Oh, oh, yeah. not, hey, that's Take me one. off of there and yeah. put China Mac up there. Oh, <laughs> come on now. Take got, me down. You got Lyra Cohen up there. Who Adam is now leading a coup uh, to put China Mac on the Mount Rushmore yeah. uh, Steve Stout. That is a good idea. Wait, is Steve Stout black? You could be black you and be a be culture, black vulture. culture vulture. I put Steve Stout up well, there. You hey, damn near damn, well. Damn, huh? Hey, 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 you listen. and the runners, too. The shit she was talking today. You didn't see this thing. I have resigned. Today? Listen. The shit today? you was talking today. You never have, have to. resigned, though, from, from like, talking about nigga shit, though, and on my channel. So. Okay. He's not like a regular black guy. He's like a Dr. Umar style guy. Yes. Yes. Dr. Yes. Umar. Yes. No. Yes, thank you. Yes. Oh. I'll fake one. I'll fake one. I'm from Black Empowerment, man. This nigga is Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> 